Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, once again today we are together to praise and thank the Lord because our God is good and he is good at every time. Let us rejoice and sing and praise the Lord together with the choir, clapping the hands. Let us sing together and praise and worship the Lord. God is good and every time. God is good all the time. He's put a song of praise in this heart of mine. And God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. Put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. His darkest night. His light will shine. God is good. God is good. All the time. Lord, we praise and thank you because you are good. You are always with us to support and guide us. Lord, we praise and thank you together with the whole creation. That there will be amazing blessing from you coming down to the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was sinner, so unworthy. Still for us he chose to die. Amen. Will this way his Holy Spirit we can stand and testify Amen. that his love is everlasting and his mercy. They will never end. God is good all the time. Put a song of praise in this heart of mine. And God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. He's so good. God is good all the time. The psalmist says, Taste and see how good is the Lord. Taste and see how good is the Lord. Oh Lord, you are really good to us at every time of our lives. Today as we have gathered together in your name, O oh Lord, send forth the Holy Spirit to each and every one of us who is attending this program. O oh Lord, let everyone be filled with the Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with the Holy Spirit. Give us more power, more courage and strength and deeper faith so that we may love you better. We may serve you better. O oh Lord, send forth your Spirit, we pray. Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love. Oh, come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your session 
to be with us all through the our day of life hail mary full, full of, of grace, grace the lord is with thee, thee. blessed art thou among women, women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother of god, god pray for, for us sinners Jesus. now Amen. and at the hour of our death Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, as was, it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, ever and ever shall, shall be, be, the world, world without end. end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in chapter 17 of St. Luke, Verse 6, we see the apostles coming to Jesus and asking him to increase our faith. Today, we are going to pray to the Holy Spirit so that our faith may be renewed and increased. We need an increase in our faith. We need an a greater anointing in our faith formation and in our life. In day to day life, if we want to live our faith to up to the expectation of God, we have to get renewed and increase our faith. Hallelujah. 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 We know we are Christians since very long. Maybe at the at a very young age, we got baptized and we became Christians. But today, when we look back into our lives, are we able to produce the fruits of our faith in our lives? In day-to-day -day activities, when, when we encounter with so many problems and temptations in our life, can we able to live up to the expectation of God in our faith? This is what we have to think and meditate upon. And like the apostles, every day we have to pray to the Holy Spirit, Oh Holy Spirit, increase my faith. Sometimes it can happen that a stone which was in a river for long, long years, when it is taken out and when it is uh, broken with a hammer, we see Though the stone was in the river for years and years, there was not even a drop of water inside the rock. In the very same way, we had been in the faith, we have come to know of Jesus since long, very long back, but how much is our faith? What faith means? We have the best definition about faith in the letter to Hebrews, Chapter 11, verse 1. I'm sure most of us must be knowing this word of God. We listen to that. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. The word of God says, faith is assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. What were we assured will be granted to us. That is the assurance. And if things are not seen, we believe it is there. Just look around you. You know there is oxygen inside the room where you stay. But you can't see. You can't taste. You can't smell. But you believe there is oxygen because you, you are alive. In the very same way, there are things we have to believe even if it is not seen, we can't see heaven, we can't see God, but we know that there is God, there is heaven, there is life after death. This has to come from our heart. Hallelujah. 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 I remember once I was conducting a retreat for the young adults in one of the foreign countries abroad when I was conducting a retreat. A young man came to me and said, Father, I don't believe in God. Can you give me any proof that God is existing? I believe only those things which I can 
understand with my intelligence which I can see and we, we can trust. I told my dear gentleman, I don't have any proof to give you. Because if you don't believe in your heart, I can't make you sure, believe by giving any example or any reason for existing God. But just ask me, I'll ask you one thing back to you. I asked him, uh, do you, is your parents alive? He said, yes. What is your dad? He said, he's an engineer. Okay. I told him, don't mind, please. You started calling your dad by the name dad ever since you, uh, you were, came to the awareness that he was dad. And how you got the awareness? You got it just because your mother told that this is your dad. From that moment onwards, you started calling him dad, right? He said, yes. And everyone of us did the same thing. Ever since my mother told me, showing a person, this is your dad, I started calling him dad. And I asked this gentleman, now you say, I believe things only that I can be seen and understood by my uh, intelligence. Have you ever doubted the fathership of your uh, dad? He said, no. Did you make a comment that, no, I don't believe he is my father, so I'll go for a DNA test and make sure that this is my father. Have you ever done it? He said, said no. Why? Because your mother just told and you believed. And if you can believe just the word of your mother that he is your father, then why can't you believe that this God, universe which is created by God is not existing? And he said, yes, I do understand. I do understand. Dear friends, we cannot give proof for everything. In our day-to-day -day life, we should have an assurance that God is existing and He is the ruler and the creator of the universe and He is the one who guides us and sustains us. And this is a faith that has to come from our heart. And this is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 And when we look into the Bible, we see in the same uh, letter to Hebrews, there are so many examples given about the faith of our forefathers. In the first place we see about uh, Noah and also again coming down in chapter 11 verse 8 onwards we see about Abraham. It's very beautifully written about the faith of Abraham. Would you please read that? By faith he received the power of procreation even though he was too old and Sarah herself was barren because he considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven, and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. Hallelujah. 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 How beautifully written. Abraham, though he was a, such an old man, and normally by the intelligence, if you think, he is unable to produce a child. And his wife, Sarah, she was already um, known as a barren one. But from this young couple, these old couples, God is giving them children, descendants, like the stars on the, on the sky and the sands on the seashore. And that is the greatness of our God. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, if you really believe that God is our creator and he is the master of the universe and if we surrender ourselves totally and fully to him in faith, God is going to do wonderful deeds among you and me. Hallelujah. 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 The word of God says, book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 7 onwards. Jeremiah Chapter 17, verse 7 onwards, the word of God reads in this way. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord. Whose trust is the Lord. Whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A person who is, has trust in the Lord is like a tree planted at the seashore of a, a river. 
and its roots are rooted in its in the water as a result it always gives fruits though the surrounding trees may dry away this tree is always giving fruits and the leaves are ever green hallelujah hallelujah this is the situation of a person who really put his trust in the lord if you can surrender yourself if you can dedicate your life whole life to god god is going to protect you god is going to sustain you with his graces and that's what we see in the whole bible hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. dear friends therefore let us romans chapter 5 verse 5 reads in this way that i have hope in me i have hope in me and this hope is never going to die because the holy spirit is in my heart we we'll listen to that romans 5 5 and hope does not disappoint us because god's love has been poured into our hearts Hallelujah. through the holy spirit that Hallelujah. has been given to us yes through the holy spirit that has been given to us by god i my hope is increased and i am never disappointed whatever may come whatever burdens or problems come on my way i'm not worried because god is with me the holy spirit is in me is guiding me protecting me and he is always leading me through hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. dear friends if we look into the bible if you trust in the lord there are so many, so many good things that we get from him first and foremost if we need to be redemption is guaranteed by the faith alone hallelujah 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 the letter to romans chapter 10 verse 9 says if you trust in the lord and you believe god is going to save you because if you confess with your lips that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved hallelujah hallelujah you should confess that jesus is the lord and believe in your heart that god has raised him from the dead and if you do these things definitely god is telling you you will be saved and by faith alone we are saved again in the acts of the apostles chapter 16 verse 31 believe on the lord jesus and you will be saved yeah. you and your household if you believe in god not only you but the whole family is saved and that is the only way to redemption and word of god says you believe and trust in the god and in- increase your faith you will be saved hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. secondly the word of god says if you believe in the lord you will be healed we you know in the uh, gospel of saint mark chapter 5 was 34 onwards we see a lady who is just going behind jesus and among the crowd she is there but she had a belief in her heart the belief is that if i just touch the garments of jesus i'll be healed and she has been she was suffering from hemorrhage since very long and the word of god says she had gone to many doctors and there was no rescue and finally she had the faith in jesus and not even touching him physically but just touching the tip of the garments of jesus and what happened an amazing miracle takes place in the gospel of saint mark chapter 5 verse 34 the word of god says in this way he said to her daughter your faith has made you well go in peace and be healed of your disease see god is telling our daughter your faith has saved you and it has healed you dear friends all these years when i was going to when i go around preaching the word of god i have seen people receiving grace upon graces wonderful miracles just in front of me because they believe in god i just tell you one incident one day i was conducting a retreat in one of the parishes in india and while i was there the parish priest came to me and asked me to go uh, to come go along with him to pray for a person who is paralyzed for last two years and definitely because of this reason i 
went with him to pray for this young man. He is a man of 32 years old. When I went there, his wife and two kids were there and he was so sad, but he had hope in him. As soon as I came in, entered the house, he told me, Father, you, you have come. I'm very sure that the prayer will make me heal once again. I asked him, what happened to you? He said, I went for a, an, an operation uh, two years back and after the operation, I was fine. I was running about, but a few months back, I just collapsed. And I was taken to the back to the same hospital where operation was done. And the doctor said, we just don't know what is the reason. And he is a rich person. He went around two, three hospitals, but there was no rescue. And finally, he was there at his, whole, uh, his own house. And he said, Father, I used to watch a Shalom television every day. And especially, I watched Abhishek Akni, the program done by Father Sevar Khan, the director of Sayyidun Ministries. And I am quite sure God is going to heal me. So I was very, very touched by his, um, uh, his, uh, his words of, with confidence we spoke. We fathers, three fathers together, started praying to him. Praying for him, all of us there, we asked him to praise and thank the Lord. We asked the Lord to do a miracle for this man. And we were praying almost five to seven minutes. We, uh, we prayed over him. And finally, I just, uh, the Holy Spirit gave me the inspiration to just bless the uh, family with holy water. I told the priest, now I'll just go and bless the uh, whole family house with the holy water. You please keep on praising. And my friends, as I was just uh, coming back after sprinkling the holy water in the house, I, what I saw was, a miracle. This man was just going up and down in the room. Hallelujah. 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 My dear friends, this is St. John chapter 11 verse 14. 40. We see Lazarus is dead since last three years. But God is telling to them, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. 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 Let's stand up if possible. We raise our hands up to God. Oh God, we pray and believe that you are the only savior. And today as we pray together, what we need is to an increase in our faith. As the disciples pray to you, Lord, increase our faith. We today pray to you. We cry out to you, Lord, increase our faith. We are weak and fragile in our faith. Please send forth the Holy Spirit and increase our faith. Let us praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your temple, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Spirit, oh, in my heart. Thank you. 
As we stand before you today, we ask you to increase our faith. Our Lord, often we have been very proud of our faith. But today I realize that when we go deep into my heart, I do not have that love or faith which you expect me to have. Our Lord, today, as the pastors prayed to you, we to pray, Lord, increase my faith. I need to believe you, Lord. I need to trust you fully. Lord, it is a gift of the Holy Spirit. And today I ask the Holy Spirit to increase my faith. Dear friends, let us open our hands before the Lord. Let us open our hearts before the Lord so that the greater anointing of the Holy Spirit may come and infill us so that we may increase in our faith. Let us ask the Lord for this grace during this benediction and blessing. Let us praise and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Sorry. 